Hey there, we're here in Baynard Park and we're at 66 Bainbridge Way. Just a look across the street and down the street. The amenities are right down here. And let me go into the yard just a little bit. Give you a look back at the house. Although our cars are blocking a portion of it. But um, you have some nice distance on either side of the uh, between the, the homes. Landscaping could be poofed up, but it's nice that, you know, you can tell that they are taking care of the landscaping. The exterior looks, looks decent. Could use a, a little power wash here and there. Um, but this is a little marked up along here. It just needs to be cleaned up and painted, I think. When you first come in, you see straight through, come into a little foyer area. It looks like they're doing some, a little bit of patching and painting, we hope, uh, here and there. You have an, an office or a den up front. You could add doors in here if you wanted to create a TV room in the front here and be able to close it off. So we come into the home a little bit more. To the right, we have the garage and bathroom. You have a little place here that you could build in a, a, a drop zone of sorts to, uh, if you like that sort of thing. Whoops. And then there's a garage with wall, a place to, to hang different things on the wall. Your laundry tub is out here. We're thinking it's about a two foot extension of the garage. Because this slab is a little bit longer than that first one. A little bit of a slope, but this would be, make a nice place for, for a drop zone. You do have a coat closet here or a uh, broom closet. Ceilings are, are nice and tall. Baseboards are nice. Bathrooms are, are good. This guy should, could use a shower door maybe, or um, you know, just a shower curtain. Comfort height toilets. Decent vanities and, and tops. And the second bedroom. It's small, but it's probably sufficient for a queen bed could go along this wall. Definitely a full, and I think a queen could go on this wall. Not much else would go in here. Uh, smaller closet over here. Now the kitchen, as we finally make our way to the kitchen, is very, very nice with room for a coffee station over here, built-ins, place for your books, place to have uh, some bar stools. This probably would take a piece of furniture like a hutch that would go with the dining area. Gas cooktop, microwave and range, good size pantry. Nice neutral backsplash and a really nice view out this way. Let me show you the kitchen a little bit more in terms of the cabinets and things. You have drawers over here, some drawers over here and then a combination of drawers and doors. Let's see. And they have pull outs, just FYI. Dining here, good size family room. Have a little bit of uh, fogging on the window over, over there. The screen porch definitely, I think you'd probably want to enhance the screen porch. I don't think that, that this is going to be big enough to make you feel at home, but we were looking at this one across the way and, and thinking that maybe you could do something along those lines over here eventually. But the view is very pretty. You can see how, how far your neighbors are away over on this side. Those guys have a pool. You don't see the people on this side, so um, it's 
a nice, nice lot. There's a look back at the home. Few places um, scattered throughout the house that need some touch up. So you probably end up painting a little bit here. Laundry room is small. It's across from the owner's bedroom. And it's really just how you could put some storage cabinets up there, but really there's just room for a basic washer and dryer. Owner's bedroom. Actually, I think the wood changes a little bit in the, in the owner's bedroom. You can see they did a good job of matching it up, but this is more of an engineered wood, and I'm not sure to get down and really feel this and take a look at it, but there's, there is definitely a slight difference. I don't think it's bad. They did a really great job of matching it. Just wanted to point it out. Double vanity. This would, you do have a seat in here. It's not the largest shower. You could take this out, have plenty of um, ability to expand this into a nice big, huge walk-in walk -in shower, private commode, and a nice big closet in here. Recessed lights in the uh, owner's bedroom. Check out. Oh, I'm not sure where your daughter is. Carpet going up the steps into just an overflow room. Be great for the kids. Uh, great game room. You have attic access here. The attic. We looked in, in the attic. Looks nice and neat in there. That's just blown insulation that you're seeing in there. But good size room for whatever you'd want it to be. Craft room, uh, room game room for the, for the kids, but uh, some really nice space. So all in all, nice home. Um, see what you think. And of course we can follow up with any, any questions you might have. Thanks.